and we're gonna get an update for you guys, okay? I am getting something coming through about possibly an investigation, okay? Um, investigation as well as this very powerful kind of emotional releasing energy of walking away or moving forward, um, wanting to be fulfilled, you know, wanting to follow your dreams and kind of lay down the past a bit in whatever way that means for you and to open yourself up to more fulfillment in whatever capacity that means, okay? Um, you know, letting go of things that are outdated, that are holding you back, you know, scarcity mindset, your own thoughts, career, love, family, whatever it is, moving toward what fulfills you emotionally, okay? So that's what I have for you. We are going to start with some divine guidance. And I'm gonna use the archetype oracle um, to do that for my Sagittarian placements. What's the divine guidance for this message for Sagittarius? One card, please at all possible okay we have the vision we have the vision okay very very beautiful card Sagittarius placements the archer the hunter the visionary okay mutable fire the vision right very 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 um a fitting card that comes through for my Sagittarius placements okay so I'm getting a lot of energy okay we have like um, something coming together here, like a handshake, you know, a deal that's coming together, partnership. Um, we don't know if these hands are coming together or, or you know, you know, pulling apart. We know endings, new beginnings, but we do have these two owls. Owls represent wisdom. Owls represent a higher connection, right? being in between worlds. Owls are messengers. They're also predators, okay? So um, this is a really beautiful image. Let's get the message so that we can move forward. The vision for Sagittarius placements. Number 55, okay, is the the number that correlates to this oracle message. Five, five, could be a synchronicity for someone, all right? Um, it's a very powerful number. It's not a master number, technically. Only, you know, double ones, double twos, double threes, but it's a very powerful number, okay? Um, fives represent change and shifts maybe even a tower. Um, five is the number that represents the Hierophant, okay, in the Tarot. So wisdom, higher knowledge. Hmm. Five, five. The dream, the imagined, the revealed. It is said that we are born with a unique vision. Each of us are. A destiny towards which we are aimed. It is also said that we forget this vision the moment we are born. Thus, we are sent on a lifelong journey of rediscovery. Such is the elusive nature of the vision. It slips away, yet it guides. It appears in strange dreams and surreal images, seemingly unattainable and preposterous. When we are connected to the vision, we carry an inspired, enchanted aliveness that others recognize. We trust the world and its synchronicities. We walk through new doors into wondrous opportunities. We all want to be near those with vision. They emit energy 
more potent than any elixir. When we lose connection to the vision, life becomes dull and exhausting, lacking meaning, bringing back, bring back the mystery, bring back the dreams. Okay, so here what I'm getting is that someone is connected to the vision here. Um, someone may have lost connection to that vision. Like the oracle says, you know, when we're born, we lose it. Some say. And some may be on that journey of rediscovery. Either way, whether this is something that you are trying to reconnect with or that you are fully walking in, this is a very powerful energy for you, Sagittarius placements. I'm also picking up on the fact that there could definitely be someone that had you as part of their vision, someone that recognized you as someone with vision. And again, it mentions that we all want to be near those with vision. It's a potent energy, more potent than an elixir, okay? And when one loses or when we lose that connection within ourselves to the vision, life becomes dull and exhausting, lacking meaning, okay? So again, someone could feel as if you are their vision, you are part of their path, and without it, life is bleak, life is exhausting, lacking meaning, okay? And it says, bring back the mystery, bring back the dreams, okay? So this could represent something that you have let go, right? Um, endings, new beginnings, winter solstice. This is a very, very powerful energy, even coming off of the full moon in Gemini. That portal is still very much open as we're moving into the new moon in Capricorn, okay? Where we are laying down the foundation of a new cycle, okay? And someone could be feeling that that loss feeling that disconnection okay wanting to be connected to the vision connected to this potent energy all right but ultimately this oracle message is is an urge okay or a message about bringing back the mystery bringing back the dreams connecting to the vision okay when in um light aspects higher aspects um embodying this archetype there are the energies of a potent imagination, synchronicity, and trust when dark, when shadow aspected, okay? Disconnected from art and from your dreams, feeling listless and aimless, okay? The vision, very, very beautiful oracle guidance here. And we're gonna leave that right there. Get the faded overall energy for my Sagittarius placements. Just the faded overall energy, please. Okay. And we have the Empress in reverse. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is kind of like, you know, a really kind of listless, um, aimless, frustrated, heavy energy here with the Empress in reverse. Of course, the Empress could represent a mother figure, the mother of someone's child, um, a feminine energy in reverse. Again, Empress represents the number three and threes represent balance and stability and Christ consciousness and um, change. action, creativity. So with the Empress being in reverse, I feel like something is imbalanced. There is an energy here around possibly something to do with the business, maybe a creative business. The Oracle message was talking about losing the connection with art and um, not trusting synchronicities or not very confident in what you're manifesting, okay? 
or someone isn't. Taurus, Libra. This is Venusian energy, okay? Venus is the, the ruler of Taurus and Libra. So there could be a Taurus or Libra of significance that's coming through, surrounding that Empress in reverse energy, okay? So, let's see what else is coming through from the Mysteries in the Stars Oracle. Any other important messages? Ooh. Take the energy of an investigation coming through in the beginning of the reading. Oh, my car is going to get kind of flipped. So maybe there's something that's flipping or changing about an investigation. Okay. What else for Sagittarius placements? We have astral travel in reverse. So I, I do feel like, you know, there's something here about not feeling connected okay um there could be some you know really confusing dreams that you're having or if there is a connection maybe where there was like maybe a spiritual connection um that you're evolving past there could be an energy that feels as if they no longer can connect with you um in the dream state in the 4d Okay, so there is something here about feeling a disconnection or not being able to tap in, okay, with astral travel coming out in reverse. Yeah. Memory loss. What else is coming through for Sagittarius placements? Oh, three cards. Okay, I'll just take them. All right, so we have Restricted in Reverse, which is the card that represents blockages. being a victim, maybe imprisonment. I feel like someone is, you know, with restricted in reverse. Someone is kind of breaking out of this imprisoned state or moving past, past a blockage. No longer being a victim, no longer fostering like any like victim mentality. This is like overcoming some blockages being released from a cord, okay? A tie, a tether. Someone may be doing some type of cord cutting here, but something has been released or someone is, is at least trying. Okay, and then we have drowning in the upright. This is like a very emotional time for someone or someone may be in their feelings, in their emotions. The deep end. Number 81 reducing to nine. Nines represent you know, moving towards the end of a cycle. But nines also represent possible conflict before an ending. So some type of emotional wounds here that someone may be having to face, may have faced or be moving through. The last card that we received for you guys is Sagittarius energy and it is DMX. It's my DMX mystery star card and it's in reverse. Okay. So whenever, um, one of my cards come out in reverse or especially a mystery star card comes out in reverse, I'll usually pick up on the shadow aspects of that energy. Okay. So DMX was a Sagittarius, 
of course, he had a very distinctive voice. He was very passionate, very real, um, very creative. Talented. But some of the shadow aspects of DMX were um, a lot of the energy surrounding heartache and trauma in relation to feminine energies, particularly a mother. A mother figure, okay, or some possibly, you know, very painful and difficult family trauma or childhood trauma that someone is, you know, either submerged in or breaking free from healing through, okay? Um, this could also represent addiction, okay? We do have the drowning card. We do have restricted, so someone could definitely be you know, working really hard at trying to kick a habit or um, move through some type of very, you know, difficult and challenging process um, in relation to addiction. And that could be of anything, okay? Some people could be addicted to work. Some people could be addicted to food, sex. other people, you know, being very codependent or something like that. But DMX in reverse, mystery star card, um, this is your energy. Or you could be um, dealing with another Sagittarius or Fucus energy here. But um, yeah, there could be, you know, something here also in connection to make a lot of anger, repressed anger. Protecting your assets, Sagittarius placements. Okay. What else? Curious to know what was on the bottom. Hmm. On the bottom, we have Virgo. So there could be a Virgo of significance, okay? Um, connected to the situation. Because we have Amy Winehouse, Amy Winehouse, mystery star card right on the bottom under DMX. Someone's very unique. Someone's very deep. Someone's, you know, brilliant. Someone's a writer. Someone is very talented, eccentric. Maybe someone has, has a tortured mind, but they're, they use it in a very creative way. Someone's way outside of their mind. Someone's very um, there's a lot of depth to someone here because Amy Winehouse, her card came out in the upright. So there could definitely be this energy here which is highly aspected here in the upright of a Virgo energy or just someone again, possibly that's very analytical, focused, Someone could be into poetry, art, music, okay? Someone could be a rapper. We have DMX come out in the reverse. What else do you wanna say, Sagittarius? I am not coming back. I am not coming back. It never fails, Sagittarius placement. You always get a card that represents you know, you're, you're, you're moving, you're going, you can't come where I'm going, or I'm not coming back. 
this is the energy I picked up on in the very beginning of the reading where there was like kind of like eight of cups energy um, moving forward towards a space where you're emotionally fulfilled, okay? Um, this could be love, family, personal evolution, but with the Empress in reverse as the favorite overall energy, this definitely could represent something to do with a feminine energy, a business, or um, something to do with family, okay? Um, I was careless with you. I was careless with you. We are not right for each other. We are not right for each other. I'm not coming back. I was careless with you. And we are not right for each other. This is definitely the energy of something that's complete, something that has cycled out and there's a forward movement here. Um, I do have someone here admitting, you know, that there was um, not maybe enough weight, enough given. Um, someone was taken for granted here. I'm not coming back represents separation or forward movement disconnection and acknowledgement that something just wasn't in the cards wasn't in the stars okay let's get one more for Sagittarius placements I love myself enough to walk away I love myself enough to walk away okay so very powerful energy of a cycle being complete let's just get some tarot to see what these energies are and what they mean for you with this update okay may or may not be clarifiers um these updates tend to be pretty much half oracle messages and half tarot um so we're just going to kind of clarify the oracles with the tarot okay um which deck are we going to use um Let's use something different. All right, let's clarify these messages. What's coming through for Sagittarius placement? Please show me clearly what are the most important messages. Can we get a clear message for Sagittarius placements, please? Okay. We have the High Priestess. I know more than you might think. Okay, High Priestess. Okay, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy, Moon energy. The High Priestess knows, okay, knows where they want to direct their energy towards. Someone is completely tapped in. Highly intuitive and connected. Number two, the high priestess represents a gestation. Okay, something that is maturing. Okay. This is about someone possibly shifting to a space where they are moving into heightened awareness or tapping into their clairs, meaning their spiritual gifts. But ultimately, trusting their intuition, right? Um, Akashic records really... Gaining the information needed to put the puzzle pieces together, right? The vision. The same way the high priestess sits between the two pillars of knowledge and wisdom, we have these two owls here. 
and right in the, in the center, there's something that's being received. Someone's been through a cycle. And through the challenges, has come into a certain awareness. Someone here could definitely be the head of an organization or a spiritual business or someone. Excuse me, okay, so the, my sneezes usually represent some type of connection. So there's someone here that is connected or in an important space to protect something. There's something, again, protect the vision I feel like someone's being appointed or someone is just, someone just sees you as a total mystery. What else for Sagittarius? Hierophant, the High Priestess, the Hierophant, okay, two major arcana. The Hierophant is in reverse, Taurus, energy here. The vision was number 55, so we have 555, okay, in the reading. Now, we have a very, a very strong Taurus energy that's come through in the reading with the hair font in reverse and the Empress in reverse. This could really represent, you know, there being resistance, okay? Um, whenever the hair font comes out, this could represent the ending of a high-level commitment, a marriage, so divorce, separation, someone, you know, deciding to walk away from all that they've known, tradition, which can represent this family, this mother, the mother of their child, parts of themselves that were very codependent, lack mentality, letting those aspects of oneself go but ultimately here with the empress in reverse and the hierophant in reverse because the hierophant is kind of second to the magician in reverse you know misuse of some type of spiritual knowledge or possibly inappropriate conduct in a place of in a space where certain conduct isn't expected. So the misuse of a position for personal gain someone could have been demoted or stepped down or again being investigated
someone could be deciding to rebel against all that they've known in terms of their spirituality or something to do with their family traditions or whatever this organization is or this this partnership or establishment someone's lost respect for someone here possibly this Taurus or this Libra could be another Sag I'm getting a lot of hypocrisy here these major arcanas in this reading this is like a very powerful energy you know difficult challenges let's get one more we have the page of pentacles High Priestess, the Hierophant, and the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles represents a new beginning, a new opportunity to manifest what it is that you want in this reality. Someone could have lost a child, had a miscarriage, but is planning on, has done a lot of healing and is trying again. I'm not coming back. I was careless with you. We are not right for each other. I love myself enough to walk away. Someone has done a lot of work to reconnect to the vision. I'm not coming back. Something has been released. Something is over. Someone may be receiving a lot of um, projections. From a connection that they are no longer associated with. This could be a divine connection. This could represent someone who just, you know, divorcing someone or deciding to step out on their own away from this organization or this family. Where it was like a prison, honestly. Again, cord cutting. Restricted in reverse represents breaking free, um, being able to move forward, cutting the cords. This is also my banishment exile card. So again, someone could be coming back after a period of exile, being exiled or, or 
this could represent again the hour font you know a career path that you thought was over that you gave up something but coming back around with a new perspective and of course Whenever we have three energy in reverse, this could totally represent addiction. You know, third party situation, of course, but third party situation doesn't necessarily represent a relationship. It can be anything that throws you off your balance. And that definitely could include an addiction because we have the MX star card here and we have drowning. You can't get to the space of the high priestess without overcoming toil and challenges, pain, darkness. But someone was able to travel through this darkness and find the connection again to the vision I'm still getting the energy of again I'm, 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 I'm they're telling me umbilical cord because of this cord here but that that could be for a, a very small percentage of you that's coming through I just feel like someone that has been able to overcome very challenging past and with these two major arcanas here with the um, high priestess and the hierophant it could clearly be talking about you know structure government moving towards a new space or revisiting something from a different perspective and i'm definitely getting marriage divorce separation Or loss of respect because of misinformation or the misuse of spiritual information or some type of information that ended badly someone's rebelling against the establishment or against their family, against a connection that has held them down. Or there's something that someone knows here that ended things. No going back. Right? I love myself enough to walk away. And where are you walking into? A new beginning here. Or seeing something from a different perspective. But whenever you have the page of pentacles here, we do have this energy of something being manifested. You know, something new. This is a very clear path. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Page of Pentacles. Pages represent messages and new beginnings. Opportunity. Discovering. Discovering a way to manifest what it is that you desire or just coming through these challenges is leading you to this opportunity, okay? Of a lifetime, something that you didn't expect. Either way, the Page of Pentacles represents hard work. An offer. moving past those things that hold you back, right? 
resentment and frustration. Well, you're mastering something here. Priestess. What does the High Priestess know? Something about the Emperor. The Emperor is in reverse, okay? So I am definitely getting something here about be a family business or an organization all right the the emperor is in reverse number four repressed emotions chaos control narcissism Once again, something about not being able to protect, not being able to maintain. A lot of times the emperor is only as good as the team around them. So there's something here about, again, a group, an, an organization, a family business, or a, you know some type of structure that's falling. Right, the Empress, I'm sorry, the High Priestess can see clearly. Through. What's happening here with this Emperor energy, okay? Fours in reverse indicate instability, lack of clarity, no foundation. No foundation to stand on. There's something here about losing control, losing power. There's something that this high priestess has been new. Okay, about the situation. Whatever this emperor, this hierophant energy represents. This high priestess energy could then see the hypocrisy, could then see that there's something that was off about this situation. And now it's toppling. Someone's being called out. And there is major action that's being taken really swiftly in this situation. You know, someone could have definitely misused their space of authority. 
their own personal gain. Something has is fallen. Something has been opened up and there's scrutiny. That's why we have the DMX star card here because I feel like someone needs to protect their assets or their, their royalties or their... Whatever's happening within this the situation where there's obvious loss ending of a commitment high level commitment marriage or you know spiritual business or partnership I'm hearing, I'm slipping, I'm falling, I can't get up. If someone lost a business or was separated from something that they worked hard for because of addiction there could be an opportunity to turn it around or to to go at it from a different perspective why is the higher font So with the emperor, again, this definitely could indicate possibly, you know, someone who has been able to see through a connection where someone was stuck. You know, the emperor could represent an unawakened masculine energy, Aries. But Someone cracked the mystery here. About this very influential establishment or person or situation okay that was misusing their position of authority we have the hierophant clarifying the hierophant okay so we have a very strong taurus energy that's coming through in this reading and this could definitely represent a mother figure again or again the mother of someone's child or just a feminine energy. That could be very materialistic. Neglectful. Again, the resistance. I'm still picking up on something to do with the inability to like manifest or someone that's barren or something to do with ch children or losing a child or something that that just didn't manifest or come to term but with this Hierophant energy clarifying the Hierophant energy this is a sure indicator that 
some corruption. There's something corrupt that's taking place in the situation that someone saw through. Or someone's definitely like rebelling or waging war kind of like against the establishment or whoever the leader of this organization is or this family. Something is definitely over or someone's definitely like in deep into some type of corrupt situation. Someone can't figure something out, but here, this is kind of like a dark space. Like, we have the Emperor and we have the Hierophant, clarifying the Hierophant. Someone's deeply rooted in some type of esoteric, dark organization, okay? And this High Priest has been new, okay? You've been there. Because you're here with this vision. I feel like whatever this energy is, or this this Empress energy in reverse, you could have been through a lot of challenges getting to the space of the High Priestess of knowing what you know, but you're in this space. Or someone is. And I feel like this Hierophant energy is representing someone that's that's drowning. Someone that is angry, right? Um, this Taurus, possibly a Libra, Aries, or this unawakened masculine energy possibly even another Sagittarius because we had the DMX star card come out in reverse. But I feel like someone's waging a war or battle against you, right? Because they have slipping, they have fallen, and they can't get up, right? The vision energy clearly spoke about How we all want to be near those with vision. They emit energy more potent than any elixir. And when we lose connection to the vision, life becomes dull and exhausting, lacking meaning. Someone wants to crack the mystery. Someone wants to connect it to what you know. And someone wants to, again, it says bring back the dreams, right? Bring back the dreams. Someone wants to connect with you to, uh, telepathically in the astral realm. But the ties, right? There's something here that's been cut. There's a restricted energy here because you or someone, in order to get to the high priestess energy, has had to do a lot of work, true work, to get through those shadows and to be connected to the higher wisdom that you or someone is connected to in order to break these ties and no longer be restricted and someone is coming back around to reevaluate something from a higher perspective okay and someone wants to be connected to that but this high priestess energy this could be you if you have scorpio cancer or pisces high, pisces high aspect is in your chart okay or the moon and the 12th house. Second house.
eighth house. High Priestess can see through this energy that wants to control. Hierophant, clarifying the Hierophant. I haven't seen that in a while, but um, this is definitely the energy of an ending or some type of corrupt, dark, misuse of spiritual knowledge occultism this is something that you if you are part of it you or someone has faced those parts of themselves you know and evolved or someone has recognized this energy and has evolved past it or can clearly see through it. And that's why there's an ending here to a marriage, a high level commitment, or there's some type of investigation that's taking place here around this cult or within this group or even family or marriage that's over. Moving into this new beginning. Page of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck, we have the sun. Okay, this Page of Pentacles could be um, a new opportunity that's coming in um, by a Leo. You know, maybe a Leo. You'll be working with the Leo. Okay, um, Page of Pentacles, all the earth elements. The sun is one of the most positive cards in the deck. All right, so this is like a successful path that you are rediscovering a very positive message that's coming in that connects you to maybe your youth, your creativity, you're mastering something here. The sun is number 19, reduces to 10. More completion energy. We've had five, five, five in this reading, three, four, so like progression energy, and then completion energy, right? I'm not coming back. We're not right for each other. I love myself enough to walk away towards this new path, towards the sun. happiness, enlightenment, truth. What is the page of pentacles? What's the page of pentacles? The hanged man. Enlightenment. You know, in order to get to the high priestess, right? Twelfth house, right? The hanged man, Neptune, Pisces, energy, the high priestess. I just said someone with moon in the 12th house or the 8th house or the 2nd house. But either way, to clarify the page of pentacles, we have the high priest, I mean the hanged man, which is kind of connecting to the energy of the high priestess, of someone just knowing, trusting their intuition, connecting with male or female, their feminine spirit, their subconscious mind. Tapping into that energy and through this tapped in ability, connecting with the deepest parts of yourself, someone is moving towards a higher perspective. Someone is tapping into their spiritual gifts, heightened awareness through trial and toiling thy utmost. And even through loss to gain enlightenment. Most times we have to go through the depths 
through the challenges, through, through it in the process. We could lose an eye. There's some type of sacrifice, right? We may have seen too much. I think it was DMX who said, sometimes, I think I may have seen more than I should have seen. Right? And of course the DMX card came out in the reverse. So through the challenges, through the pain, through whatever difficulties, there were some things that may have been lost while suspended, while in indecision, right? Indecision is the energy that represents lower aspects because it's a divine blessing to be able to decide. To be able to decide is clarity. It's serenity. It's a balanced mind. And when you're not in a position to decide, right, it's confusion, it's chaos, it's fear. And that's a lower nature. So to clarify this page of pentacles, we have the hangman, which represents enlightenment. Being willing to let something go in order for something new to come in. And what's coming in is something that you're manifesting. You know, it's something that is bringing you a message that you're on the right path. Something that you have discovered about yourself, about your childhood, about your child. This could represent whatever's happening with this hierophant energy here. This corrupt energy, something that was stolen is coming back or something that is being worked out within this settlement, this legal situation, this divorce, this separation, whatever it is, there's a message. There's something that's coming in that's tangible, that's moving towards newness, a new opportunity, a new beginning, okay? bottom of the deck we have the knight of cups okay so manifestation new opportunities new beginnings discovery um along with this new beginning And this epiphany energy, this information that you're coming into, this sacrifice that you're willing to make to allow this to come in, definitely could be a Pisces connected to this information that's coming in. There's also some type of energy here around an offer of love, someone following their heart. This could be you. But this is a movement. Someone's coming in to offer something, healing, inspiring. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles, okay? It could be a Virgo, Pisces, energy. This could represent the same individual that's coming in, you know, that may have took a while to get there. You know, the Knight takes their time. Um, I'm looking at both of these cards. This could definitely represent, this could also represent for you Sagittarius placements that you have a lot of attention on you right now. Um, because you are in a position of manifestation and because you have released a lot that no longer serves you, you're open, you're open. And again, like I said, the energy of the vision, right, attracts. It's an energy that's as potent as an elixir. And because you have released, and because you are in this light, new manifestation energy, you're attracting a lot of suitors or a lot of opportunities, creative opportunities, you know, very solid, financial, financially profitable opportunities, okay? Um, 
Again, Page of Pentacles represents messages. The hangman represents coming out of a period of illusion, letting go of scarcity mindset, but opening up yourself to a world of possibilities. You're manifesting things or opportunities that seem almost like unreal or miraculous. It's like the energy of every day knowing something beautiful is about to happen. It's happening. Okay? So, there's solid offers that are coming in. I do feel as though if someone here, if this is like two different individuals, could be the same energy, the same person, it could be you, you know, getting out there, connecting, making investments, okay? But, this horse here looks like there's some trepidation around, you know, crossing this lake. So someone could be hesitating, okay, about offering fully what's in this cup, but the intentions are solid. Okay, strength, again, Leo energy this new opportunity this new beginning this investment or someone that wants to invest in you definitely could be a leo or someone with leo placements because we have the sun and we have strength card i'm just getting solid investment or Whenever I have a strength card, I think of endless possibilities. Number eight, equilibrium. New solutions. Yeah, it's gold. Something here is gold. I feel like someone is going to be receiving an award. The Ace of Pentacles is a divine blessing from the universe of abundance, prosperity, happiness, forward movement. Something very tangible um, that you've been expecting is coming to you now. Inheritance, a chunk of money that you didn't expect. Another stream of income, a side business, actually starting to take off a new job, love, engagement ring. You know, something here is truly being dropped into your lap because you've been strong. You've made something happen through all of this. All of the challenges. And now this is your reward. Eight of Pentacles. You can have everything you've ever desired. The Eight of Pentacles represents unmatched skill, unmatched focus, perfectionism. This is like 
someone is working really hard to help you attain what it is that you desire because they understand that you work really hard or that you deserve it or that you don't even know your own strength or what it is that you've been manifesting. And because you have been so focused on serving others, unmatched skill, unmatched focus, that <laughs> this is what's coming in for you now. Again, aces are new beginnings, opportunities. I just want to clarify more about this horror font, clarifying the horror font and what it is that this high priestess could see clearly about or has moved through in regards to this horror font and reverse energy. Can you clarify the horror font in reverse? fortune in reverse okay um whatever's happening with this hierophant energy in reverse twice taurus energy this structure this government this organization or cult or whatever this energy is that has thought they've gotten away with something misuse of spiritual knowledge or practicing the dark arts or being in a position of power misusing that power to derive something from others that's unfair it has something to do with money we have misfortune in reverse something to do with fortune, money, or even karma because of some type of interference with someone's fortune, right? Because the Wheel of Fortune in reverse represents possibly someone that was trying to interfere with someone else's destiny through dark magic, witchcraft. We also have size in reverse, so a lot of size, right? Because I feel like someone or this group or whatever this situation involves, there's a lot of regrets here because someone is experiencing an extreme amount of karma because of their actions and they're no longer connected to the vision. Tell me more about the Hierophant in reverse. Wedding. This is the ending of the celebration. Whatever was gained from this corrupt energy, right? When you gain the world through corruption, the misuse of spiritual knowledge, taking away the free will of others, dark magic, whatever it is that you want to attach to it. You gain the world at the expense of losing your soul. Okay, so the celebratory energy is it's done. Okay, this is um, the end of a marriage, okay, or high level commitment of some sort. Clarifying the Hierophant. So you or someone's walking away from this Taurus or this Libra or this Aries or cutting the cords and ties of this or evolving past, okay, this spiritual connection where someone is unevolved and is has chosen the dark or ch chosen not to awaken or stuck in the dark night of the soul 
not learning the karmic lessons needed to evolve. Drowning in addictions, caught up in anger. Ill-fated connection, third party situation, chaos. Disconnected from the vision and no longer protected. Disconnected from their higher self while someone is moving towards this new beginning journey. I feel like someone may have been exiled or banished and could be trying to um, move towards you or vice versa. Willing to make the sacrifice, wanting to come in with new discovered strength. Along with all of the other energies and options that are attracted to you at this time. To drop something on you that could help their cause but ultimately I do see someone is moving towards new right I'm not coming back someone was careless you know and because of that there were consequences we were not right for each other and I love myself enough to walk away someone is moving and evolving and manifesting a whole new opportunity, a whole new beginning, and you're taking a whole new cycle on a whole new journey. Okay. What's this Ace of Pentacles? death card again someone definitely could be finally making it through the dark night of the soul transforming awakening stepping into their power possibly taking the steps it takes to break free of a third party situation or to walk away from all they've ever known with this family or this marriage or this karmic situation someone could definitely be awakening Okay, wanting a new beginning, but this also could indicate again, just you or someone just evolving to the next level of their, their journey, you know, reconnecting with the vision, 555 five, five and the reading, which indicates a paradigm shift. You know, there's something that's coming in that's solidifying where you've been, how far you've come, what you have been working on and perfecting service to others. So this is a reward that's coming in where there's something that's being regenerated and nothing will be the same. Wow. What's the potential outcome here? What's the potential outcome? What's the potential outcome for Sagittarius placement? Six of Wands. All right. We have someone that's frustrated or jealous or angry. Whenever you have the Six of Wands in the traditional water weight, you know, you have like the community that's watching someone get rewarded or watching as a battle has been won and one side is victorious. So there's something that's taking place, whether it's an investigation or a court proceeding, a divorce, something here where someone has publicly declared or made it known that something is done or it's just a fact someone has already won and therefore there is a loser okay so here egos involved there could be anger there could be 
someone wanting to wage a war or someone's confidence has been hit here because they're no longer recognized or yeah, an ego death. Someone is completely misguided. Completely misguided, completely detached or overtaken by their ego. Jealousy must not always take the rival as an enemy. On the contrary, if he wants to win, he must be patient. I feel like there's an energy that playing both sides or someone where they say keep your friends close but your enemies closer be mindful of who trust your intuition okay because someone that someone's trying to keep their enemies close but they're not genuine What's the potential outcome here, please? Ace of love and reversed. Yeah. Repressed emotions, lack of self-love. Someone may be staying in a connection where there is no love. Where they're neglected or maybe this is what someone has finally gained the strength to walk away from so that they can move closer to this potent energy of you or whoever's in the vision right someone you or someone wants to or parts of themselves but move away further from this energy here corruption an energy that has lost respect misuse of spiritual knowledge this organization this cult whatever this dark energy is here surrounding the Emperor and misfortune, this failed marriage or situation, whatever it is, where there's a lot of size, misfortune, darkness, wants to move closer to you or whoever this high priestess energy is that's connected to the vision. I feel like you or someone has evolved, has broken free of these cords, of these binds. There's a lot of pride, a lot of ego, and a lot of emotional trauma that someone is stuck in, bound by. Once again, rejection. Six of Wands, Ace of Cups, 
separation, fear of vulnerability, something is over, something's not beginning again, something is not being renewed, and someone's in their ego. We all want to be near those with vision. They emit energy more potent than any elixir. When we lose connection to the vision, life becomes dull and exhausting, lacking meaning. So this is the energy that someone's in, all right? Because you're not coming back. We're not right for each other. I love myself enough to walk away. Let's get a final card. Yeah, somebody... Holding on. Love if someone wants to be in good relations with you, he has to be ready, courageous, and prompt. For in the end, who holds on wins the prize. Something's over, but someone's stuck in their ego. And or someone's walking away from something karmic and there's someone that's still trying to manipulate the situation. Potential outcome, we have the King of Cups. I feel like someone is in their heart space. When the King of Cups is in the upright, whether you're male or female, this shows an ability to be an empath, to be loving, caring, intuitive. But in the past, I do feel like someone may have been an overgiver, right? Unfortunate to say, but too much of an open heart that attracts negative energies as well. Energy vampires, they're attracted to that light, to that openness. But I feel like someone is balanced in their emotional spaces to where they're able to make emotional decisions without losing themselves. And someone is balanced and trusting in what they know about the situation and they're moving forward. Knowing that something has to be let go in order for this new opportunity to come in, okay? Breaking free of the illusion. New beginnings. Love made Jove descend many times in different shapes of bull, of swan, of gold, and in shapes of eagle. He also took Diomedes and it made Pisaphi fall in love with the bull. So someone is balanced enough and a balanced enough space to see through the illusion to stand in their power and to be ready for what's coming in what's manifested what they're manifesting what's manifesting them and it's still open 
to the possibilities of love despite what they've been through in the past when they weren't balanced right codependency emotional instability addictions someone was able to move through those spaces and come out still holding their heart still being able to move forward and is ready for what is coming in in the form of the ace of pentacles So the energies that came through strongly in this reading, Taurus, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. We also had Virgo. Okay. Divine advice. We have healing. Healing. Out in the upright position. Surrender, relaxation, clearing, deprogramming, Reiki, support, release, cutting psychic cords, cutting psychic cords. Peace. Healing hands. We did pick up on hands in this vision card. As above, so below. Healing hands. Someone has very healing hands. And the last keyword here is miracles. Well, not the last keyword. We have miracles. We have intervention. We have hope and sex. Interesting. Okay. The blocked message. This could be a message for the cross watcher or, or any other energies that are coming through or anyone who needs it, okay? You are giving your power away to others in the belief and hope that they can fix you. Toxic relationships, addictions, and unconscious behaviors are draining you of your energy and keeping you down. Your divine message you will see manifestations of your ascension. As you heal, you carry more light and embody divinity, causing positive changes in your life and your surroundings. What was once bleak will have transformed. What was once bleak will have transformed. Yeah, what was once bleak will have transformed. Even if it's parts of yourself where you have to face your ego, repressed emotions, pain, evolving past someone else's dreams, stale emotions, ego, etc. Final messages to end the reading for Sagittarius placements. Let's 
Surrender. Surrender. Inner child, it came out in reverse. There's someone here that needs to face their past. Deep inner childhood wounds that may revolve around maternal energies, lack mentality, fear, scarcity mindset, abuse final messages in the reading please for Sagittarius I am not coming back no more settling for anything less than you deserve Someone's left with regrets because they were careless with you or vice versa, right? There's come to some type of recognition that there's something that's not coming back together because it's just not right. It's not an energetic match. It's not an energetic match. Frequency matters. I'm not coming back. We are not right for each other. No more settling even for parts of yourself that are no longer fitting into your divine path and purpose. Letting it go, walking away. I love myself enough to walk away. Powerful energy of healing, okay, that's taking place. No longer settling, healing the heart, the mind, and all the spaces of your aura in your existence letting go of that which no longer serves you toxic relationships addictions unconscious behaviors right someone has done a lot of work and they're as the high priestess here okay maybe the catalyst for someone else that's you know, trying to break free of this cult, this organization, this darkness or parts of themselves where there is a misuse of spirituality or spiritual knowledge or darker spaces where there's something very corrupt that's going on within a marriage or a connection where someone's walking away, breaking free of that energy. No longer giving their power away. No longer giving your power away to others. Thinking that that can fix you. Thinking that there's a quick solution, right? What good is gaining the world if you sell your soul in the process? No longer settling. Loving yourself enough to move forward. To connect with yourself. And to walk away from what no longer serves you. You will begin to see. Manifestations of your ascension. And as you heal. You carry more light and body divinity. Causing positive change in your life. And in your surroundings. What was once bleak. Will have transformed. Reconnecting with the vision. Trusting in what it is that you know. This is tried and true, and it never, ever fails. All right? What you're walking into is justice from what you've been through, opportunities in which you deserve. And divine timing, which is leading to a balancing of the scales. 